welcome to this quick guide for the super carrier setup in ECS World. So here we are in the mission editor and we're going to begin by placing down a carrier. You can choose any of the following three super carriers, then click in to somewhere. You can see the altitude represents the depth as a negative number at the bottom of the screen. Make sure to give it some speed and a waypoint to head towards if you want it to move. In advanced waypoint actions, we can set up things like the alarm state, which will mean it will engage enemy aircraft. We can also set up to engage enemy weapons like anti-ship missiles. And in form commands, we can set up the activate attack end. The channel is the number that you'd like to set it to. The call sign is the three digit or three letter identifier and then the most important thing is to link the unit so we're going to click naval 11 and you can see that the unit name is the same so that will be matched while we're there we'll just change that to excellent now we're going to activate the icls similar principle channel is the number and make sure to link the unit as well. And that's us done with the advanced waypoint actions. They will also work with the regular Stennis if you don't have the super carrier. Now let's give ourselves a F-18 to put on the deck for us to fly later on if we want to. Put a click somewhere near and then we'll change it from turning point to take off from parking hot or cold, depending what you fancy. And now let's bring our supercarrier to life a little bit by adding some static units. We're going to start in the airfield and deck equipment tab, which you get when you purchase the supercarrier. Place it down, rotate it to how you want, position it however you want. And then the important thing to note is you need to link the unit so that it travels with the carrier. Otherwise you might find that it just stays completely static and the carrier just drifts off from underneath it. And then I copy and paste with control C, control V, and then just change the unit and you'll see that it stays linked on the right hand side. Once you're happy with the airfield and deck equipment, you can then place a different type of static. We're going to place down some personnel and note that when you change the category, the link unit undoes itself. So once again, you need to place them and then link the unit. We'll give ourselves some LSO. So we'll have two LSO officers here for a bit of fun. Make them look different because variety is the spice of life. And now everyone's favorite. Let's add some aircraft. Start off with the F-14 you'll see that when we place it, its wings are out, which doesn't really work on the carrier, does it? But once again, you may also note that the link unit is not currently done. So when we click on that, you'll see that it snaps its wings back and it's far more agreeable to be in place on the carrier. Once again, we'll get it positioned how we like, and then we'll just copy and paste it with Control C and Control V. This one will change to become an F-18 for a bit more variety, but you'll see because we've copied and pasted it from the same category, it's still linked. So all we have to do is just spam these wherever we fancy. And that gives you your supercarrier, which is buzzing with life and looks far better than just a standard supercarrier with nothing on it. Don't worry, the automated AI for landing and departing with all the LSO people will continue regardless. If you want to see more quick guides, then check out this playlist. Thank you very much for watching. If you did find this helpful, I would appreciate a like. Until next time, I will see you in the skies.